crossed aldol reaction. Obtain the needed materials. Under the fume hood, measure out 10 milliliters of ethanol. While still under the fume hood, measure out 0.12 milliliters of acetophenone. Add it to the round bottom flask. Weigh out 150 milligrams of 3 nitrobenzaldehyde. Add that in the ethanol to the round bottom flask. Lightly stir the mixture until all reagents have dissolved. Measure out 0.10 milliliters of aqueous sodium hydroxide and add it to the round bottom flask. Stir the solution for 5 minutes. The product should begin to crystallize out of the solution. Measure out 5 milliliters of ice water. Once the crystals have formed, add the ice water to the solution to help it fully crystallize. Pour the product onto the vacuum filtration. Allow the product to dry under the vacuum for several minutes. Once dry, move the product into a 50 milliliter beaker. Under the fume hood, add boiling ethanol to recrystallize and purify the product. This is how the recrystallized product should appear. Allow it to cool at room temperature. Obtain ice to make an ice bath. Place the solution in an ice bath for 10 minutes. After the solution has fully recrystallized, perform another vacuum filtration to dry the product. Dry the product for several minutes in the vacuum filtration. Weigh the dry product. Obtain a melting point for the product. And place all waste in the non-halogenated waste container.